Alice and Roy's are nowhere to be seen. Praise the great wild ones. Well, let's hope this is a good omen. Maybe, finally, the pincushions have started to do something with themselves. And maybe it's not a coincidence, since we've just found a dead body, Marty. Yeah. What can I say? The night's starting to get off, huh? Just like the good old days. Well, uh, let's just hope there won't be any more surprises tonight. You don't believe that, do you, boss? What's up, Joseph? Doing a part two of Chicken Police. You cooking dinner? <laughs> Can y'all see very good? Shouting in three, two, one, and action. Mark, what the hell do you think you're doing? We're just patrolling, sir. At the station? No, we're here for something else, sir. You missed me, huh? No, sir. I mean, yes, sir. I, I mean... Why are you grinning, Santino? I can't grin, sir. I have a beak. Don't be cute. I can see it in your eyes. Should I Except Smiley. Inside? Don't you peck at me, chicken, you hear? We're not even here anymore, Chief. We just quickly stopped by for something. Can y'all hear? Get out of my sight. Yes, sir. Officer Barkman, one of Blood Boyle's little protégés. Officer Barkman, one of Blood Boyle's little protégés. Okay, just making sure. Hey, Mom, is the boss uh, angry today? Angry? That's an understatement. I see the New Year's <laughs> madness has started. Everyone busy? As normal, boys. The city's gone crazy. Y'all drop you your links or. Party. They found a girl in Flowerville. It's a nasty case. What do we know about it? Sonny, you know I can't tell you. Oh, come on, Mon. I only have 120 days left. We can pretend these are my last beautiful days. On my feathers, Sonny. Stop that. It's so much your style. Ah, uh, he's been like this all day. Shut up, Marty. Come on, Mon. All right. Though I don't know much, the girl was found inside a house. I won't tell you the address. I have a hunch you already know. Why do you think that? Smiley. Never mind. Anyway. What are you gonna make me blue on your channel, man? Any sign of a struggle? There was a message written on the wall and on her bag too. That's all. That's all. Thanks, Mom. You're not gonna ask what the message was? Uh. Oh yeah. What was it? You already know, don't you? <laughs> I'm an open book to you, Mon. One I've read too many times. Okay, so what happened now? We have no business there. I'm trying to figure out where to go next, man. This don't make no sense. Um... Hotel Atlas, the club, okay, well, I guess we go here, I guess. I don't know where to go next, but that's all right, though. We had no choice but to continue the investigation where it started. In that shady little apartment I call home. The only lead was the list Fillmore gave us, with all those imposing names. But what could it mean? And why did Natasha keep it secret from us? But most importantly, what did all this have to do with Deborah's death? The trail started to get cold and started. There was something unsettling in the black clouds hiding all the stars. 
I prayed that they'd bring an early snowfall. The night was already painful enough. So, what are we doing here? Trying to calm down. I'll have a shot. The weather's okay, it's just windy. Yeah, well. And we're trying to put the pieces together, of course. Figure out what's next. And what what's is up, next, Chris? Hartford? Chris Let's Cookie? Let's take a look at what we've learned so far. Chris Cook? What's up, man? Smash like for me. Y'all follow each other. So, how did this whole case start? Oh, okay. Oh, here, are you serious? I have to do a little mission thingy. Okay, hold up. Smiley. Okay, so. <clears throat> Where do I go now? What I mean, what do I do? I don't know what to do. I got all this. How did this whole case start? Okay. Uh, I want to say it started with this dude. Oh, with Deborah. Oh, wait. What do I do? Could be important, but not now. Dang, dude. Okay. Um. Deborah is dead. Okay, I get that. Clues. Possible suspect. So, what do I do? I don't know what to do. What? The lover. Okay. Um. Natasha is afraid. Natasha. Um, strange treat. I don't understand this. <laughs> I don't understand this whatsoever. I got the items, but what? Okay. It says one of three. I'm not sure. Oh, hold on. I think I get this. Hold up. Yes, that's going to be right. Okay. Um. So what now? What? Huh. Natasha and the they were connected. They're clearly what? I don't understand it. Any more cock, cook, cock fighting? <laughs> wow. They make suspicious. She is a source of them. They clearly wasn't for her. I don't understand. Okay, hold up. Oh, snap. Uh-oh. Did I mess up?
I don't get it. They were clearly addressed to her. Yeah, the threats are meant for Natasha. No doubt about that. Okay, that goes one. So... She must be a gangster lover. I don't know. Oh, one of the clues. Okay, here we go. Nightclub. Ha ha ha. The letter? What? Okay. I guess the letter wasn't it. Maybe a list? But there was something Natasha didn't speak about. She showed it to us. She lied about it. Oh. She forgot to mention it. Huh. She kept it a secret. Oh, that's not it. Okay. She kept it a secret? Natasha is terrified. And she's in real danger. But she kept this list hidden from us. It seems too important to keep it a secret. So who's the other suspect now? This dude right here? Ivan? Huh. Thanks, Joseph. Oh, come on. What? Okay, that's not him. <sighs> Maybe her. Nope. Olivia? Nope. Maybe Lewis? What can we do with this list? He used it to... Super frustrating. I know it is frustrating right now. <laughs> he has something to do with it. Oh, he makes him suspicious. He used it as a diversion. He made something. Oh, I don't know. That's not it. Okay. So, you know what I think? If it's not a diversion... Then he has something to do with it. Nope. What? What the heck? Oh my god, are you serious? Wow. He may know something about it. I know only one person who moves in circles high enough to know where it's from. Lewis. We must ask him if we want to get out of this dead end. Case closed. <laughs> wow. Case closed. So the card is... Uh, Mark gave us exactly full of those imposing names and I only know one person who moves in similar circles Lamar yes Marty it's Lewis exactly of course it's Lewis but where do we find the bunny man well since he owns this building I'm hoping he's here it's worth a call <laughs> you know his number by heart five 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 nine three two I wrote it down in my notebook as well. Oh, you are a professional, boss bird. Five, 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 nine, three, two, okay. Look at the phone. 
select number. Oh, seriously? Oh, come on. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Lewis, uh, sorry to disturb you again. Uh, could you come over to my place? I uh, have a question for you. It's very important. It's about a case. Thanks, pal. I owe you one. That's gracious, man. I'm trying to get the... Oh, shit. <laughs> Thanks, Lewis. Again. Oh, don't, 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 don't mention it. Besides, it was my big dream to help you with a serious case. Well, let's hope you can help. What can you tell me about this list, old pal? Actually, Joseph, it's on PC. Uh, well, well, these days. It's, I yeah, it's on PC, it's on Steam, it's on uh, PS4, PS5, uh, Xbox One, and I believe it's on... Uh, What's that other system? Oh my. <clears throat> I forgot. <laughs> Royal Guard. Damn. What? I really don't know what it means. So, is it a dead end? I'm a afraid so. Nintendo Switch. Yeah, it's on Nintendo Switch. Yep. Okay, so. Look, uh, I'm sorry I dragged you into this, Marty. Ah, don't be. I would have been bored to death. Still be on that shooting range. And Laura. Kid Wonder, what's up, man? She's used to it. Hey, y'all follow each it's other. The same. You know, since that special one. Since y'all are mods, y'all can basically click Bloody on years. each other's name yeah. and go to and go to their channel. Laura's probably at home. You don't even have to she drop your link. On the couch, you can just since you're a mod, you can just click on it, click on y'all's uh on y'all uh picture get out of this anytime youtube made you know, it that way now and i'm glad they did finish it right let's just make it through alive okay or laura will bite off my head literally i'm on it partner okay so i think there's family stuff in there what's left after my wife and daughter so okay Deborah, the girl who came to me tonight. Yes, she's a very lovely young lady. Where did you take her after you two left? Where she asked me to. To Flowerville. Flowerville. Rochester Street 37? Yes, exactly. Why? Luck. <gasps> did something happen? Nothing good, Lewis. Nothing good. This? This? Oh, 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 my goodness. I think we have a bingo, gentlemen. You see, I also have one of these. A card? <laughs> like this? Really? Yes. It's a membership card to a very exclusive club. How exclusive? Very. That's what I'm talking about. What does SN mean, Lewis? It's the... Blake TV, what's up, man? What's up? That's a... Hey. Well, yes, it's a... Y'all go follow Blake TV, Kid Wonder, and Joseph. Y'all follow each other. Completely different. Smash that like button for me. Calm down, Lewis. We're not going to tell anybody. Thank you so much. New location. It is rather... It 
embarrassing. <clears throat> Listen, Lewis, how do we get in? You want to get in? Well, if you could show them this card, they'll surely let you in, but it will be obvious you're not regulars there. We're used to that. So, are we going to a luxury brothel? Correct, Marty. Thanks for the help, Lewis. I owe you one for the third time today, I think. <laughs> this game is this game is wild and all outdoors. I don't know what you s s said to him, but after you finished, he almost immediately then then disappeared. Really? That's suspicious. Or he had business elsewhere. It's New Year's Eve. Everybody's going somewhere. Hmm. I didn't see. I didn't see her after the show. If I'm not mistaken, she usually leaves when everyone else has already left. What else do you know about her, Lewis? We found out as much already. Do you think she'd fled the Stavonian massacre? That's why the secrecy. Do you mean the massacre of the royal family? I'd say her accent is a dead giveaway, and her name too, though it's undoubtedly an alias. So it's possible that she is a part of the royal family. I d d don't think so. If y'all can hear, nobody could have survived. If y'all can hear clearly, oh, 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 put a one in the chat. Oh, if y'all if y'all can hear the the sound clearly, probably right. What should we know about the place, Lewis? Besides what they're uh, dealing in there. No, oh, it's an elegant and exclusive place. Not everybody visits them for, for that, you know. Some animals just go for company. I see. I guess it's mostly visited by the upper class. M mostly, yes. The wealthy who have a taste. Yes, of course. Is it true what they say? That it's some kind of hidden stronghold of the royalists. If y'all can hear this game, put a one in the chat. If y'all can hear it clearly. Species, yes, but stronghold? I don't think so. But the place must be an eyesore for the separatists, right? Oh, don't, don't, don't worry for the girls, Sonny. They can defend themselves quite well. The separatists wouldn't dare to go near the place. Well, we'll see what they have to say about these two old cocks. Uh, that was a little bit, um, equivocal. <laughs> May I ask what you have gotten yourself into? This looks serious. It's complicated, Lewis. But nothing good. I can tell you that much. Ah, is there a a a anything else that I can help you with? <laughs> Maybe there's something. Oh my god, this Rosalind, this game is not boring. Crazy woman. Okay, I got more clues. Okay, let me see something real quick. I got a key. A luxury. Okay, so let me see something real quick. What the heck? What? Lewis? Huh. Well, luxury kill. A new location. I guess we're gonna travel to that location now, I guess. Yep, buddy. Oh, snap. Hold up. Go back. Shit. Uh, what's in the... What did I get this time? Oh, it's the same stuff. Okay. It's a piece of a painting. Judging by how well it was hidden, I'm sure this is what Natasha wanted to show us. Okay. So now, the new place, where's it at? Is this it right here? <laughs> Chapter two, the killing. To Marty's delight, we were heading toward the most- This game got pretty cool graphics, uh, Rosalind. The separatists and those opposing the monarchy hated the place. 
thing that supported interracial relations of all species. So the place wasn't just a brothel, it was a symbol. But just like a brothel is not a worthy symbol, Clawville failed to turn out the way it was intended. Damn. Well, here we are. The kingdom of long legs, silky skin, and fluttering lashes. We've arrived. Calm down, Marty. Watch <laughs> your blood pressure. What business? Do what? I didn't hear what you said, but that's all right. Huh. Wow, really? That woman, she's familiar. Do you think it's her? The broad from the Bloody New Year's? God damn it, Marty, do you have to say it out loud? It gives me goosebumps. Chicken bumps more like. Anyway, I don't know if it's really her. I always get confused by the exotic ones, but... Yeah, maybe. Honestly, it gives me the creeps. Yeah, me too. Okay, whatever. Whatever you say, Rosalind. These brides are elegant. Just like Laszlo said. Lewis, what do you think could be the old rabbit's type? Fluffy tails, furry ears, a raspy tongue. Ah, oh, for the love of all the gods, stop it. Just think about it. Please shut up, Marty. Hmm. Okay, so, uh... I, I don't even know... Good God! <laughs> hey, keep it down, Marty. I see it now. Of all that's furry. Yes, it's very furry. Or more like, uh, shaggy. <laughs> really? Holy fur. You swallowed so hard, the whole place shook. Are you kidding me? I've never seen anything like this before. Is this even legal? <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? I don't know. Vice? You really must be joking. Vice in Clawville? Uh, okay, okay, I was pulling your leg. But still, it's a little hot in here. Now oh, cool down, Marty. Don't even look over there. Remember Laura, your wonderful girlfriend, whom you love more than anything. You don't need to tell me. All I'm thinking about is her. With a hatchet in her hand. More like my nuggets. <laughs> That's <laughs> uh. <laughs> Laura, 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 Laura. That's it, Marty. Just slowly turn away from the pictures. Laura, 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 <laughs> Laura. That's it, Marty. Just slowly turn away from the pictures. That's funny. She's what I call an exotic beauty. Well, that's one way to put it. Hey, every animal's the most beautiful thing in the world to someone. Yeah, you're right. Oof, I don't know about you, but I go weak in the knees for stripes. Please, Marty, I don't want to know. And I don't care. Keep it to yourself. And let's get out of here quickly. Can't I even talk to you anymore? You can. Ask about the weather, or how's my lower back? <laughs> Those two are even connected, if you want to know. Yeah, old fart. <laughs> Yee, that guy's stare gives me the creeps. Uh, I can see why. I always told myself that birds are weird. What did you just say? Huh? What? Me? Nothing? Okay. Oh. Excuse me, gentlemen. Would you be so kind as to help me? 
With pleasure, ma'am. <laughs> zipper always comes down on my dress. Would you kindly zip it back up? Can I, Sonny? What am I, your mother? <laughs> Do what you want, for God's sake. <laughs> Happy to help, ma'am. Oh, what a gallant young man. Lock and lords. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I got zipper, zipper up. Seriously. I'm literally having to zipper, zipper. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Really? Okay. Did I do it right? Oh, I'm sorry. Can I try again? If you'd really like to. Please be more careful this time. Oh my god. I will be, ma'am. <laughs> he got nervous. I got a zipper zipper up, man. What the hell, is that, dude? Okay. It says grab and hold. What? I don't get it. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I try again? If you'd really like to, please be more careful this time. Am I supposed to zip it fast or zip it now. slow? <laughs> Am I supposed to zip this fast or zip it slow? I'm not getting this picture. Okay, so grab the zipper and I'm gonna just go. It's still broke. What the heck? Okay, you know what? I think she must be the receptionist. Bravo, Mr. Detective. Why do you have to be like that all the time? Well, sometimes I seriously can't decide if you've become totally stupid over the years or it just entertains you to act that way. Well, you know, that's a good question. That's exactly what I mean. My name is Day Night Diamond. Welcome to the sweltering Nile, gentlemen. Miss Diamond, I'm Sonny. And this is my partner, Marty. If I may, miss, you have a beautiful name and exceptionally wonderful stripes. Marty, not now. Oh, thank you very much. Please excuse him. He doesn't visit places like this very often. Uh, <laughs> me neither, uh, to be honest. Oh, nothing to worry about, gentlemen. There's a first time for everyone. You're absolutely right. We're just interested in a certain lady called Deborah. Deborah? We don't have any employees by that name right now, but if you want, any of our girls would love to be Deborah for a night. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Uh, excuse me, you misunderstand. Uh, she doesn't work here. I'm afraid I don't follow. It's kind of confusing, but let me try to explain. <laughs> Please, I'm at your service. I'll gladly answer any of your questions. You hear that, Sonny? Any questions? Shut up, Marty. <laughs> okay. Let me try this again. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I try again? If you'd really like to, please be more careful this time. How do you do this? I will be, ma'am. Okay. So am I supposed to just leave it in the middle? Oh, I did it. I did it. Oh, thank you, honey. Marty, ma'am. Marty McChicken. Thank you, darling Marty. I'm much obliged. Anytime, ma'am. Anytime. <laughs> I zipped her up. What can I do now to her? Nothing? May I invite you to join 
invite you gentlemen for a drink, perhaps? No, thank you. We're in a hurry. No. I wouldn't want to offend you. Far from it, but it's evident you're from the police, even without this. Is it that obvious? No, it isn't, but, you know... Here in the Nile, we have a keen eye for this kind of thing. Right. I understand, ma'am. Huh. Do you know a gentleman named Louis C. Hayworth? Of course I do. Mr. Hayworth is a regular guest at our establishment. I see. How regular, if I may ask? I can't give you any information about that. How policy? We have that, too. It's called the law, ma'am. If you have any questions of that nature, please come back with a warrant. Ah, touche. <laughs> come back with a warrant. Does this list mean anything to you? This? I'm not sure. No, nothing. Don't you see some familiar names on there? I do, but everybody knows those are. Dakota Hirsch. Personally, I have no contact with any of them. I see. Well, thank you. Pretty dog. Look, she gave this to us. The girl named Deborah, the one we uh, asked you about. I see. Do you know what this is? Of course. It's a membership card. Was this person a regular here? If this belonged to her, then yes. I can check for you. Please, the ladies will entertain you while you wait. I'll be right back. Oh, thank you. I'm much obliged. Uh. Oh, okay. The door? Where am I supposed to be going? Can I talk to you? Is relative. Young is this girl? Damn, this place is clucked up. Do you think clucked up? Forced to do this, Marty. We're not here for that. Just for the information we need. Yeah, but you know what, Sonny? We're fortunate to be able to choose what we do with our lives, huh? You are, Marty. You have the chance to work with Santino Featherland. Me, on the other hand, ah uh ha. -huh. So do I go in this door or what do I do? I don't know. Is he a bouncer or a guest? Eh, I'd rather not ask. Okay. I don't get it. <laughs> so do I go in this door or what do I do? I guess so. I apologize for the wait. Please, come with me, gentlemen. So you were successful? My mistress, Madame Savas, would like to meet you. You mean that, Madame Savas? As far as I know, there's only one of her, so, yes. Please, miss, take us to her. <laughs> With pleasure. Madame Zavas was a legend in Clawville. Her name was known all over the wilderness. She's an avid royalist, former member of the Council of Twelve, spymaster, assassin, businesswoman, and courtesan. To be honest, I didn't even know she was still alive. She's no spring chicken, that's for sure. She could also be my mother, or maybe my grandmother. <laughs> First, Ibn Wessler, now her. Honestly, tonight it wouldn't surprise me if His Majesty Hector the Third didn't grace me with his presence. <laughs> Fucked up. Okay. Um. Interesting pieces. Do you think so? It's the art of my people. Uh, crocodiles. There are many kinds of crocodile in the wilderness, Mr. Featherland. This is the art of the Nylonite. Well, hence the name, the Sweltering Nile. 
It's a river, Mr. Featherland. My ancestors lived by this river a long time ago. Ah, oh, interesting. Thank you. So, okay, uh... What a painting! Congratulations, ma'am. Marty. Yes. It's beautiful indeed. <laughs> it's more than 40 years old. You know, I was considered pretty then. Oh, don't say that. You still look great, ma'am. Thank you. It feels good, but no. There's no need for lies. Those days are long gone. Every age has its truth and its beauty. For me, beauty is not in the looks anymore. I agree, ma'am. Uh. So, we just straight up talk to her? I guess so. So she is the legendary Madame Zemas. Let me introduce myself properly, ma'am. Mr. Santino, I know who you are. And I also know your partner. The legend of the chicken police is always one step ahead of the chicken police. Uh, thank you. That's flattering. Hmm. May I ask what you are looking for exactly here on this night? You know, that's an interesting question. The card we've shown your lovely colleague belongs to an old friend of ours whom we haven't seen for a long time. And the name? Unfortunately, no, Mr. Santino. That's confidential information. In my line of work, discretion is everything. Well, you know, in our line of work, the law is above everything. Oh, do you think so? I could tell you what your colleagues think is also above everything. But, as I said, discretion. Look, ma'am, we don't want to impose. We're conducting a private investigation, which started off as harmless. But now, it's murder. That sounds serious. It is serious. That's why we'd be grateful for your help. In that case, I'm at your service. Ask your questions, and I'm going to answer to the best of my knowledge. As long as you're not wading through muddy water. Fortunately, I swim very well for a chicken. <laughs> I swim well, too. For a crocodile. <laughs> That's funny. As I was saying, it belongs to us. Only our most valuable guests have one of these. And our employees, of course. The employees, too. Good to know. Can you tell me if this card belonged to a guest or an employee? No. I thought so. Yes, thank you. Lewis Hayworth is a good friend of mine. It uh, surprises me that he's a regular here. You wouldn't believe I like that. You would be shocked. No doubt. Lewis, uh, does he come here often? Mm, not so often. Thank you for the vague answer, ma'am. The mystery is thrilling. The thrill is life itself. That was beautiful, ma'am. Uh. Tell me, have you ever seen this list? I have. Am I right to assume it has something to do with the sweltering Nile? It does, yes. But I can't tell you more about it. No. Discretion is key. Absolutely. <laughs> do you know Natasha Katsenko personally? Yes, I do. Tell me about her. Warm-hearted, protective, quick-tempered, 
fierce. Yes, fierce. Thank you. Very useful. Oh. This place isn't just our home with the girls. It's a sanctuary. Really? How? It symbolizes why the city was founded almost a thousand years ago. Unity. Love. Freedom. Interbreeding? That too, yes. Do you have a problem with that? Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't. My girlfriend's a predator. Really? I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Deceit is everything to Zavos. She used to be a spy, so I'm gonna take her every word with a grain of salt. <laughs> oh, great. Here we go again. Who's behind the legend, Miss Zavos? Who are you, really? Just an animal race to survive, Mr. Featherland. And because I've been taught, I know how to survive. I always was what I had to be. And you managed to dodge my question. Clever. <laughs> well, you see, this is one of the typical elements of survival. The way of dodging a delicate question and still making the questioner believe he got the answer. <laughs> but you're too cunning and experienced, aren't you? <laughs> you're not an easy one to fool. I'm trying to maintain appearances, ma'am. You should. Appearances, most of the time, are stronger and more dangerous than the truth. I think I gotta stay in the positive. Let me see. Tell me, were you really the king's spy? If that's such an open secret, then I haven't been doing my job very well, isn't that right? <laughs> yes, I was a spy. But that's such a blunt way of putting it. I always say I used to undertake confidential, generally political assignments of a delicate nature for the king that were in the interests of national security. But that way, it sounds rather romantic. Oh, wow. Don't believe the cheap fiction, Mr. Featherland. Espionage is anything but romantic. I believe you, madam. If you must know, I only did it because I believed I could protect those that I serve. Weapons have only one use in this world. Huh. To keep the peace. <laughs> yes. I always thought about myself and my craft that way. Thank you for your honesty, ma'am. Huh. Okay. I decided to open the card for the what it is. Why is the identity of the card's owner so delicate, Miss Zavos? You know. In my line of work, discretion is above everything. Yes. But of course, I have my own interests, like everybody else. You mean every secret has its price? Precisely, Mr. Featherland. But the price is not always measured in money. Information. <laughs> the most valuable thing for a spy. <laughs> I'm not a spy, Mr. Featherland. But in a way, you're right. A secret is such a valuable thing that I only exchange one secret for another. If I guess. If I guess who the card belongs to, will you tell me? I wouldn't say that's an acceptable price for such a secret as this, but if you guess right, I won't lie to you. Then I will tell you you were right. Yeah. Good. Let's see. The answer to my question. Natasha Katsenko. Well, Mr. Featherland, it seems the gossip about you is right. What gave it away? <laughs> it couldn't have been easier. There's a beautiful woman with a mysterious past, trying to keep it a secret. 
while someone is threatening her with the exact same thing, leaving rather unmistakable messages behind. Plus, we found the card on Deborah, who was her best friend and confidant, so she was either trying to hide it or destroy it forever, so no one could find out the truth. Am I right so far? Indeed, Mr. Featherland. So if I'm not mistaken, Natasha used to work for you before she met Gibbon Wessler. He fell in love with her, gave her a job at the Millions Club. The rest is history. You have talent, Mr. Featherland. I'm really sorry you're not working for the government. <laughs> I am working for the government. I'm a cop. <laughs> Are you sure, Mr. Featherland? Touché. Touché. Natasha used to work here. We can put it that way, but you know, this isn't just the workplace. She also lived here. She was part of our family. And we still love her very much. Right. That puts everything in a different light. Savas is a true survivor. Always was. And she's proud of that, even to this day. Maybe I can get her to trust me if I play to this part of her. Oh my god. <clears throat> I tried to What? Try to protect her from what? Uh, maybe it's so okay. You tried to protect her from what? Natasha came to me penniless, cold to the bone, and wounded. She was only 17 years old. Even if she were my enemy, I would have taken her in until she recovered. Yes, I'm like that. I was raised to be like that. Haven't you seen any opportunities for profit? Or were you guided by pure animal goodness? Is that so hard for you to believe? I think that uh, worldly women like you try to turn every position to their advantage. I hope I don't offend you. On the contrary. <laughs> but no. I didn't see any opportunities in a girl who could barely speak our language, who was starving and wounded and obviously running from something. In fact, I was taking unnecessary risks because of her. Hmm. Just don't image. Okay. You're capable of anything to keep your secrets hidden. Am I right? Do you mean like sending obscene threats to Natasha to remind her of her sordid past? So you know about the threats? Of course I do. Who do you think Natasha came to for help first? <laughs> you, perhaps? Please, don't make me laugh. If you want to know, I wasn't even her second choice. Even Mr. Phil Marlowe entered the picture earlier than me. Should I tell you I'm sorry to hear that? Don't bother. Mm. Do you know where Natasha came from before Clawville? Naturally. The poor dear couldn't even deny it. Even her name's eloquent, her accent, but mostly her manners, Mr. Featherland. She's from Stovos. And she belonged to the upper class of Stavonian social circles. She could barely even speak the language when I first met her. That's all you know about her. An ex-spy like you must have checked up on her new protege's past. That's the most exciting thing. Yes, I have. Multiple times putting my most treasured connections to good use. But nobody found anything. Natasha's trail could only be traced back to the Stavonian border. What happened in that country, no one knows. It's rather curious, don't you think? It is, Mr. Featherland. Yes, curious. That's why I've always been rather fond of Natasha. That's nice that electric you coming in. When she <clears throat> left you. Indeed, it did. Zavos is protective. It seems she's dedicating her whole life to her protégés. If I concentrate on that, maybe she'll open up to me. 
a lot of them questions, man. Asking all them questions. Why you asking all them questions? <laughs> Let me see. Why did you let her leave with Wesley? What else could I have done? Wesler is a handsome, rich, powerful animal, and Natasha fell in love with him. If anything, I know you can't stand in the way of a woman in love. There's nothing more dangerous, Mr. Featherland. I've been in this job for more than 20 years, but I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> you see? You learn something new every day if you have an open mind. Dakota Hush. What was the last thing you saw? Were you angry at her for leaving? Afraid she <laughs> might blab secrets. Wouldn't you like to hear that? Yes, it would be a classic. The controlling crocodile obsessed with power. Can't take Whoa, the what's of up? Favorite protege and mob ghost, friends. mob goat. I'm not saying it happened. What's like up, mob goat? But it could have. <laughs> Who a loser, Rosalind? No, no, <laughs> Smiley. <laughs> you're smarter than that. You know Smiley, you're well, funny. That's not how it happened. Maybe I just wanted to hear it from you. What's up? Still, There's commentaries in the house. Everything. What's up, Tom? I'm not, Mr. Smash the like button for me, man. Well, thank you for your honesty. Y'all smash that like button. Share me out. How did you feel when you learned Natasha was going to leave? Honestly, I was very hurt. I loved her as a daughter. How would you have felt? I couldn't say. And I still couldn't stop. DC's in the house. Hey, if y'all don't know DC, get to know him. That dude been playing some crazy games lately. Go and follow DC Dad's commentary. Mob Goat, follow DC. Hey, Tom, drop your link so uh, so Mob Goat can follow you. Were you disappointed in her? Only in myself. But I'm doing good, DC. But I have a hunch. I'm doing just good. Very well. Yes, you're right. Yeah, follow no. DC, man, because that, that, that dude's awesome. Anytime that dude's can... awesome. He's really awesome. Yes. Anytime. Oh, how did I do? Ah, oh, I needed one more star. 60% out of 10 questions? Oh my gosh, really? Please, gentlemen, wait here a moment. I would like to show you something that could help you. Oh, that's excellent news. Thank you. We will wait. <laughs> you trust her? Not in the slightest. Even her smile. Uh, do you see? Texas has been rainy, windy, and cold as hell. That's exactly how I feel. Anyway, now that we're here, I'm from Texas, Mob Goat. <clears throat> just what I was thinking. Yeah, DC just said it. I'm from Texas. So, where do I go now? Do I just leave up out of here? Oh, shit. Okay. What? What the heck are these? Are these books? Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. These books are here for a reason. They mean something. These books are here for a reason. They mean something. Are you from Texas, too? Oh, that's good. These books are here for... These books... Is that all they're gonna say? These books are here for a reason. Okay. These books are here for... Okay. So where do I go? Louisiana. <laughs> I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Clues. I have a lot of damn clues, dude. Oh, shit.
Okay. Huh. Oh, you're living in Dallas? Six years now? Yeah, Dallas is cold. And Dallas also have a lot of snow down there right now, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Yeah, it does have a lot of snow down there right now, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Oh, shit. Her smile is fake. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. I guess I guess it all melted. <laughs> Natasha did only serious close relationship. Okay. And Arnold Wesley. Okay. Yeah, all these are freaking clues up to Wazoo. Okay. Night change. Oh, this is on PC, uh, Mob Goat. This is on PC. That's all I play is PC games. I don't have no Xbox, no PS4, no nothing. But this game is on Nintendo Switch. This is on Xbox One, PS3, and PS4. And it's also on PC on Steam. Called chicken police, dude. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Did she leave? Beautiful pieces for sure. They must be worth a fortune. I don't know where this freaking alligator went, man. Oh shit. <gasps> Am I supposed to fix the clock? Oh crap, you're on me. Uh this is another puzzle. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's another freaking puzzle. I think it was in them clues. That's what I'm thinking. These books are here for a reason. Yeah, I think it was. Let me see something real quick. I think it was in them clues that I that I uh, missed. There's, there's probably in these clues somewhere. I gotta look and see. Because probably in these clues. It took me a minute to solve one clue already on this game. So now I gotta freaking solve another clue. Okay, hold on. I gotta look for more clues on this thing, dude. Okay, so hold up. Any clocks? Any times? What's up on here? You see spy? No time frames? I don't see no time frames. Hold on. Oh my goodness gracious, this is terrible. Okay, uh... 
I do not see no time for Oh, you know what? Oh, hold on. I just realized something. Yeah, hold on. I just realized something. Yep, hold on. I just realized something because all my freaking whatchamacallits are in here. 792 before getting. Okay, hold on. 792 PD Division. 900 years. Okay, so to the police. Eight sixty seven. Eight sixty seven. So ninety eight percent. Eight ninety three. That's the district. I don't see any time frames. Really? Huh. Okay, um, gun sh gum shoes. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go down here. Clues. But the clues are all right here, though. <coughs> I'm not understanding this. I think I'm missing something. I believe I'm missing something. You know what? Oh. So that's how you move the... Okay. Okay. What's this? One o'clock? Is it gonna set hour, set minutes? Okay. So it's like one o'clock. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I didn't do it right. I don't understand this. So I can't leave until I get the freaking. Huh. There has to be a clue in this room somewhere. It has to be a clue in this room somewhere. I know it has to be a clue, in, in this, in, especially in these books. Hold up. The key to animal mind. These books are here for a reason. They mean something. Okay, but which one do I look at? That's the problem. I know that I have to look at something. 
Okay, so there's one book. These books are here for a reason. They mean something. These books are here. For okay. Seven pieces of my These mind. books are. Okay, the death of the horse. These books. Okay, so. Forty-nine These years. Books. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. I just don't get it, man. What? I gotta do another clue, man. Seriously? Can I just leave out of here? Goodness gracious. I know my clues are up here somewhere, man. <clears throat> uh, can anybody help me uh, get past this next clue? Can you look up the second, the second, um, chicken police, look up the second puzzle <laughs> on Google <laughs> and tell me what to, what to put the clock on. Cause I gotta put that clock on something, dude. I'm trying to find a something uh, went wrong. Please try again. I'm trying to find the 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 um You see this clock right here? I have to I have to put the right the right time. <clears throat> yeah, I have to put the right time. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put two o'clock and see what happens. I gotta put the right the I gotta put the, the right time. <clears throat> yeah, cause so can y'all look that up and tell me what 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 uh what time to put the clock on? It's the second puzzle on Chicken Police. Just look up Chicken Police and puzzles. So I guess we're gonna try two o'clock. See what happens. Okay, that didn't work. You know what? Let me look at my watch and call it right quick. Cause, uh, you know what? Hold on. Man. Molly, my ex-wife. What do you have to do with all this? Okay, hold on. It's a piece of a painting. Judging by how well it was hidden, I'm sure this is what Natasha wanted to show us. I'm trying to... Come to daddy, darling. Uh, let me see something real quick. We stepped into it, didn't we? Inspect. We stepped... I haven't dusted you off in a while, partner. Ironic, but ever since I've been on furlough, with only my fake bag sitting in my cabinet, I feel more like a cop than I ever had before. More like a Clawville cop, anyway. Okay. So you mean to me I can't leave out of here? Okay, see. Dead clock. So these are the only things I can look at, it seems like. 
Okay. Nothing interesting. So I gotta. What's up with the second clue, man? I can't leave out of here. The, I thought that was a door over there or something. Is there anything that I can look at? <laughs> Oh, that clock is on what? It like it's on 12 something. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, you know what? That didn't work in it. <laughs> I can't even leave out this room, dude. It won't even let me. Okay, um... Back. I don't even know what to do. Can anybody look for this uh, second second clue for me? <laughs> it says clue, but. I don't even see a time. What? <clears throat> Strange. Okay. Can anybody go search the top the, the time for me? Let me see government. National let me see keep through standards. Salt water, seagulls. Does anybody can uh, search up the, the next clue? Can I keep getting freaking 867? What? Four miles of Fire of 867. I don't understand it. Okay. Legal. It says Codex. Alrighty, I need help looking up the second clue or the second time. Ninety-eight percent. What? Meat for almost oh. which almost okay, hold on. I don't see no time or no nothing. Palace cat. Hey, everybody watching, can I go look up the uh the next clue on uh chicken police and let me know what time to put the clock on? Because I don't see anything that they're telling me to put. <clears throat> uh, let me see. 
<laughs> Bloody New Year's Eve. 900 years. Okay. Huh. Okay, this is the club right here, but let me see the orders. Deep me. I don't even know what the the honest hotel is. Okay. Okay, class. Huh. Sitting in jail. Favorites. Okay. I don't know what the. <clears throat> I don't even know what to put the clock on. Oh my goodness. These are all the freaking people. It doesn't say anything about the freaking PD Hedgehogs I don't understand it man I don't, I don't know where to put the clock on Okay I think I missed something Uh, yeah, I think I missed something. Because I don't see where to go. <laughs> yeah, buddy, gonna see me look this up. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I'm about to go look this up in a little bit. <laughs> I don't care. Because these. these Okay, that's Lewis's number. A luxury. And I do not see no freaking... I do not see no damn fucking time frame. Could be, could be one of us. Huh. Don't okay, so huh? <clears throat> Let me see first. Oh, picture one. Okay, hold on. What is this over here? Okay, several years. No, no, okay, hold on. I'm trying to see if I can see any, I see a time frame or something. <sighs> My goodness. This is crazy.
crazy, man. Outstanding. If anybody sees something I don't see, let me know. <laughs> Do not see, what what is that? Currently, girlfriend of a notorious gangst, gangster. Okay, she owns the place. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> that much in the past. Huh. Uh, what family? Hmm, an orphan. Hey, somebody delete that bot. You know what? Bots, man. I don't understand this. How come? I don't get any information about him. I get information about other people, but let me see, not even influence the matter. I don't understand, dude. Okay, we can start from down here and work our way down on the clues. Because I think I missed something. Okay, luxury hotel. I think I missed something, dude. I think I completely missed something. That's all I've written. Her infamous gangster. Very good. I'm connecting. All the clues. That can't be all the clues. Because if it is, I'm stuck. I am really stuck. Can somebody look up to see what time I'm supposed to put this clock on?
You know what? I'm gonna try three o'clock. I don't know. Maybe it worked. I don't know. I'm going to try 3 o'clock and see what happens. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Until four o'clock. That still didn't work. Okay, guess we're gonna try um, five o'clock, I guess. So he's supposed to set. Okay, then says then leave. I don't understand it. That still didn't work. Okay. Y'all about to see me look this up. Go to menu. Okay. I'm about to look this up. Cause this is irritating me. I'm coming right back to the game. I'm about to look this up. <laughs> Chicken police. Uh, the clock. The, uh, the second puzzle. These puzzles are a trip, man. Okay. Y'all about to see me look this up, but I don't care. I do not care. <laughs> But to look up the second puzzle and see what time I'm supposed to put this clock on. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I know I'm cheating, but that's all right. I don't give a rest tailbone. Oh my goodness gracious.
Chicken police. Okay, time out. Uh, seriously. Yeah, I get it. The clock puzzle. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm looking it up. I got. I'm gonna see what. See what time. I, okay, hold up. Images. What time I supposed to put that clock on? The clock puzzle? No, hold on. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking it up. I'm sorry. Chapter 2, The Killing... Okay, hold up. Don't forget to grab another... Chicken police story off the ground in front of the rusty ship. Leave chicken police. Okay, um. So, what time am I supposed to put the clock on? How to do the rope puzzle. Okay. No, the clock puzzle. I just know. I just want to know what time to put the clock puzzle on, man. What? <clears throat> Simply click and the zipper slowly. Okay, blah 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 blah. I don't know about that. I want to know the clock, man. The clock. <laughs> Uh, dude, this is not, this is really not helping. Been, been questioning, okay, the clock, okay, there it goes right there, but, What time do I set the clock to? If you examine the bookshelf, what? You need to use the cursor to adjust the hour and minutes of the dead clock and set a specific time in order to unlock secrets. But what, oh my lord, it's not helping, man. Once you complete the question, the clock left, left of the picture. Okay, I get it, but damn. Seven piece of the mind. What does that mean? You can take a closer look at the Oh, at the several books titles which provide you clues of what the time is. Oh, okay, 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 I get it. So the dead clock also is so spoiler. <laughs> Step inside example hot spot is a oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Watch the scene, especially strange book, Tardis Top Rider. Watch the scene. Okay, but it's seven o'clock. 
I'm gonna guess. You know what? We're gonna try this. Because if you ask me, I think the clue's right there in front of me. I just don't see it. But we're gonna load this game back up and go back at it. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna try to figure this out, man, cause this is this is this is working my nerve now. This is literally working my nerve now. I'm too old to be figuring out clues like this. <laughs> okay, so this is the bookshelf. So okay, the bookshelf right here. So it says, look at the books. Okay, so this is, okay, seven pieces of my mind. <clears throat> Owls, what is it? Owls don't blink. Seven pieces of my mind. The death of the house. 49 years. Oh, what the, oh I think I got it. I think I figured it out. The clock must be set at 7.49. Okay. Seven. 7.49, right? Okay. Seven forty nine, so uh, six seven. Right there, right? Seven forty nine. Seven forty nine. So it'll be almost eight o'clock. You would think. Did I do it? Damn, nothing happened. Hold on. Okay, we got one book that says One Key to the Animal Mind. One Key to the Animal Mind. And you have another book that says 49 Years. What the hell? These books give off give off clues. Okay, so 150? 149? Let's try 149. Okay, we're gonna try 149 and see what happens. One Oh, come on, 149, 30, 35, 40, what is that, 149, right, 
Oh wait, forty. Okay, hold up, time out. Thirty, thirty-five, forty. Is okay. Forty-nine. One forty-nine. This is insane, man. Do it have to be on the exact hand? One forty nine. Damn, that ain't do nothing either. Shit. Okay. Oh my goodness. That didn't do a damn thing either. Hold on. Oh, there's a chest right here. Oh crap. You can zoom in on shit. Okay, I forgot about that. Um. <laughs> I'm going to figure this out, guys. <clears throat> okay, so... What does this book say? It said these book... Okay, hold on. These books are here for a reason. They mean something. One key to the animal mind. And this is 49 years of reptile. The death of a horse. The death of a horse. What? So... These books give off the time, though, but what time is it, though? That's what I want to know. The big pick. Huh? The big pick. Okay. The big pick. So what's this book right here say, then? Slime and Punishment. Seven pieces of the mind. Seven pieces of the mind. So it has to be like seven o'clock. Cause this don't make no sense. Owls don't blink. Okay. Owls don't blink at night. Owls blink. What? Owls don't blink. Okay. It says owls don't blink. Slime and punishment and owls don't blink. The death of a horse. I'm gonna just put 750 and see what happens. Cause it's at 749, but it's close to 750. Thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. I did it. <sighs> oh yes, finally. Shit, dude. A hidden door. It was 750. She is a legendary ex spy. Man. Well, this. It's something I've never understood. Why isn't a key good enough? Finally. You can take that with you, but riddles can be solved by anyone. I don't think many animals get to be in this room, Marty. And the other thing is, maybe she wanted us to find it. Exactly what I'm It was 750 because it, it, it blinked. Okay. Anyway, I figured it out. We're going in. I figured it out. So where the hell am I supposed to be going now? Oh, the door been right there for the longest. Oh, see, they're BSing now. That door been sitting there for the longest time. I couldn't even leave. That's fucked up. <laughs> At least I figured out the clock though. It was 7:50. <laughs> Let 
took me long enough to figure it out. It was not like her at all. The other must have been for sure. Body, this is the reality. We're talking about a professional spy. I looked it up. Spy. Still, they still didn't tell me. But look, I'm smart enough to figure it out. But you think this is who she really is? Cold, dark, and tiny. And full of secrets. I was smart enough to figure it out because the thing kept saying 740, 749. Okay, so let me see. What is this? A typewriter? So the rumors are true. Military intelligence. This dame's really something. I'm starting to think the whole brothel is just a cover. Oh, that makes sense. You think she's still working for Royal Intelligence? Well, based on what she told us, she's a committed royalist. So I imagine she does. Huh. Hector the Third, our great and fair king. I feel sorry for the poor fox, to be honest. I don't. He has it pretty good. Would you like to live your life as a puppet? Everything you do, carefully planned. You rule and fold. The whole thing. Just Even if he is just a puppet, Clawbell needs a king. He gives strength and hope to many animals. Huh. I guess. Oh. I finished letters. Somebody started typing a letter but left it unfinished. What does it say? Number 2947222, report about separatist group movements. Damn it. Don't even read that. <laughs> what? Why not? I don't know about you, but I don't want to get caught up in the royalist separatist conflict. What you don't know can't hurt you, right? Uh, I can't even recognize you, boss. Where did you put your sense of adventure? My sense of adventure has retired. Leave it alone. Huh. Wow. It's getting serious now, man. Whoa. Oh, that's the other half of that. <gasps> this has got to be it, Marty. That's the other half look of that, the that page. page. The missing page. Oh, God. Look at the names. Yeah. The ladies and their guests. Damn. What this means, Marty, is that the most influential people in the city had been Natasha's patrons. Some even from the royal family. Wow. This book could destabilize Clawville. At least the Clawville we currently know. You think this is behind everything? Somebody's blackmailing Natasha because of this? That could easily be the case. But something still doesn't fit. That piece of a painting. Sonny? If there's even a small chance of... Sonny. What? There's another familiar name here. What are you talking about? Oh, ho, ho. that's messed up. Somebody's been blackmailed. Natasha been blackmailed. Oh, shit. Look at them names. Molly. Oh. Clucking hell, Sonny. Molly? She was working here too. Wow. It's probably someone else with the same name. Hey, no, it's not. Natasha told me they'd known each other for a long time. Look, boss. I can't believe it. All those stories about her past. Listen, Bosberg, Molly loved you, right? Isn't that what matters? Marty, please shut your fucking beak right now or I'll shut it for you. Wow. Okay, boss, I'm sorry, but... Just shut the cluck up. We've caught them... Shut the cluck no up. So I use the F word. <laughs> That's funny. I see, madam. Oh, back off, ladies. There's no need for this. We don't want trouble. No, maybe you don't. Unfortunately, 
trouble has found you, gentlemen. Madam say boss, we needed to know the connection. What this place has to do. He with pulled out his shotgun. And 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 my wife. Filthy cops? He's talking gibberish. May I shoot him? No, not yet, Miss Dunn. I'd be very sorry to put holes in your lovely striped skin, but believe me, baby, I will. I've always wanted to know if diamonds are bulletproof. Damn. Please, madam. It'll all be over in a second. No. <laughs> we have received different orders, Miss Diamond. Stand down. Oh, I see. The pony does tricks on command. Well, I'm not surprised. That's enough, Marty. You knew who she was, didn't you? What she meant to me. Well, well, Mr. Featherland. Aren't you interested in your case anymore? No? All it took was a name from your past and your professionalism drowned in the mud. Stop playing games with me, Zavos. What does all this have to do with Molly? Nothing at all. <laughs> no, she was just a little bird among the many who sought refuge here. You forced her into this. You'd love to hear that, but until she met you, she was one of us. <clears throat> just another... You clucking... Sonny, no! Damn. Oh, something's about to go down. Bam! I, oh, I seen it coming. I seen it coming before it happened. <laughs> I think I was dreaming. But it wasn't the kind of dream you'd want. Oh, shit. Remember. Damn. Dark and painful. Wow. Then the suffocating smoke woke me. It wasn't fried eggs, that's for sure. Where was I? <laughs> what happened? That treacherous crocodile. Damn. Then I saw Marty, who looked as horrible as I felt. Well, I've always wanted a romantic sea voyage. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Somebody hit him over here, but I seen it happen before it even happened. I knew something was cold oh, shit. I knew I shouldn't have gone along with this. Marty, I told you you could get out any time. And you knew damn well that I wouldn't. That I would never leave you in deep shit once I've joined you. You knew it, and you still asked me to do it. <laughs> Marty, listen. You're a selfish bastard, Sonny. And you drag everyone around you down with you. How long was it till retirement? 120 days? 121. <laughs> but you just couldn't sit still on your ass, could you? Damn. Well, take a good look around, boss bird. This is you. And this is what follows you. Just this clucking misery. And dead bodies. Clucking. You understand? You have These nothing clucking to offer, the F -word. but suffering. <laughs> feeling sorry for yourself oh you're great at that i can't believe this shit we're gonna die here on a goddamn blazing ship like gross chicken well it's dramatic at least just like you like it wow Marty. what i've almost managed to untie the knot but if you keep thrashing around like that we're really gonna die here <laughs> ah for cluck's sake fine work your magic until then, I'm going to say all the prayers I know. You better. What the hell? That's a lot down fire. Wait, whoa, 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 oh, a ladder. So close, yet so far. Do the burn. <laughs> they are really cooking. Like literally, will be fried chicken. I hope there are spices in those barrels at least. Spices. Damn, it's a lot down fire. Well, let me concentrate on the rope. Oh, really? What a sharp observation. <laughs> Shut up. Is he? That's a lot down fire. 
Oh, great. Here we go. Oh, you serious? <gasps> okay. I got this. I can do this in one take. Oh, I'm, on, oh, I'm time. <sighs> okay, there goes the rope right there. Oh, shit. Damn it. What in the world? We're gonna die. Where's this rope going? Okay. It's going over here. It's going over here. It's going over. Oh, I lost it. Shit. <laughs> Damn, we're not gonna make it. Damn it. Oh, come on. I'm not gonna make it. Where? I can't even see where it go. I can't even see where it's going. What? Damn, we're dead. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> we died. I can't even see where it's going. Damn, you died. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, come on, man. I can do this on one take. I know I can. I gotta see where this rope is going, though. It's going over here. And it's going way... Dude, what the fuck, man? Dude, this don't make no sense. That rope is going way over here, but... Why is it stopping for? Really? This is crazy, man. Okay, so... Uh, why in the hell does it keep disappearing for? Can we just get some scissors and just cut these and just cut these suckers out of here? Like seriously? What? Okay, so it's going over here. Oh my god, do I had it? <clears throat> wow, really? Dude, I fucking had it, man. Seriously? What? It keep disappearing on me. I'm on the rope. Dude, this is bullshit, man. Dude, seriously? Oh my gosh. This is bullshit, man. Why the hell are you disappearing on me for? Really? I'm gonna watch you let time run out because uh it's messed up man. Achievement unlock <laughs> Burn baby burn. I got a team in luck just for doing that. Wow. Okay. So we got. Oh my goodness gracious. 
We can't even see. Oh, I hope that the. I hope that the. I hope it doesn't disappear this time, man. Cause this is crazy if it does. Okay. Whoa. I might make it. Oh my fucking god, I was there, man. Dude, I can't even see behind the, his arm. Man, do you have to go slow or something? I'm about what time run out, man, because we're dead anyways. I know I was being timed, but golly, yeah, I know. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm dead. I know, I know, I know. Dude, do I have to go slow or something? Like, seriously. Do I really have to go slow? They give me plenty of time, but golly. I guess I do gotta go slow, cause uh... This don't make no sense, man. This is pitiful. OMG, man. Dude, if I go any slower, oh, I made it just in time. Oh shit, dude! I think I was gonna make that one. <laughs> so what now? Now we run and swim. I can't swim. Well, you better learn fast or you'll die. Man, I think I was going to make that. Fat ass to the shore if that's what Fat you're Fat ass. <laughs> well, I shouldn't have brought this many guns with me. Throw them away then. Never. Then they'll <laughs> drag you down into the deep. Ah, I don't care. I always thought your gun mania would be your undoing. Cluck you, sonny. You <laughs> have to survive. Cluck you, first. sonny. Well, after you, boss bird. Wow. They actually went in the water. <laughs> they actually jumped in the water. That furry fucking clucking god damn. Yeah. Listen, Marty. What? What you said on the ship. You were right. I knew this would happen. Or something like it. I dragged you into this deliberately. Because I'm not enough on my own. Sonny, cut the crap. No, I'm serious. I knew I couldn't do this alone. I okay, y'all, I'm gonna stop it right here. Once they finish talking. Out for me. I don't need this, alright? Stop playing the wounded soul. I don't fucking care. Fair enough. <laughs> You're right. Hell yeah, I'm fucking right. I'll, uh, shut up now. Good. Okay. I'm, uh, go to the menu. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna stop it right here. Uh, we're gonna do a little recap. 
Oh, did I get any, did I get any more collectibles? I probably did. I probably got like a whole bunch of collectibles. Nope. And I got some achievements unlocked. <laughs> burn, what did it say? Burn, baby, burn. Yes, he said burn, baby, burn. <laughs> die at least three times on the burning ship. <laughs> and I died like four. <laughs> I didn't know that was an achievement, but that's all right, though. I know I got a whole bunch of art gallery. Damn, dude, this is crazy. I got the art gallery, man. Look at that shit. Wow. Huh. That's insane, man. This is nuts. Huh. Oh, classic movies. It's done for hire. Oh, that's cool. Oh, uh, so that's how they make these games. <laughs> they use real animals and put peoples in front of them. Makes you wonder how to make games like this. Pretty awesome. But anyways, we're gonna recap to the cut to the cutscenes. We're gonna do a little recaption. Uh, let me see something real quick. For those of you that haven't played the game, there's a little recaption, a, re a, re a recap. <clears throat> I ran out to get a pack of cigarettes, but I left my wallet at home. Yeah, that's me. I'm getting old. My name is Sonny, Sonny Featherland, for 20 years, and once the star of the predatory division of the Clawville Police Department, one half of the legendary Chicken Police. But buying a pack of smokes is more than I can handle right now. Maybe I should just lay low. Yeah, I'll do that. The most colorful place in the wilderness for all the gods, what bullshit. <laughs> the last clucking color left this city years ago. And slowly I'll turn gray too. <laughs> Step, what do I expect? We're living in a vast experiment and don't even notice that everything got clucked up a long time ago. We believe in this wonderland of peaceful coexistence. Wolves and sheep, chickens and hounds. Yeah, sure, why not? It's just ridiculous. The dog eats the chicken. It's in our nature. I'm not propping up the illusion anymore. 121 days, and it's over. Retirement. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Recap, little recap. It was New Year's Eve, and I was driving, half drunk, risking my whole life's work. But still, it didn't feel any different. Every day was the same. 
And the 121 days I had left till my retirement seemed like an eternity. When I look out the window of the hotel room I call home, I do the same thing every day. A woman in a red nightgown dances slowly in circles to smooth music. The nine o'clock show with a glass of cheap bourbon. Silent music. In the meantime, the proud city of Claude is slowly eating itself alive. And we're still here with Santino for our sanity, while others, the smart ones, had already gone. Molly. Does her name really upset me this much? All those years of solitude, and I still jump without question every time I my ex-partner who hates me. But I know I have to speak with him, no matter what. Why do I feel like the past watching me on this goddamn night? <laughs> Midnight had passed, and the intoxicated madness kicked in. We could only crawl along Chalva District's main streets toward downtown. The city's heart beat differently. Ancient buildings were defaced by neon signs and billboards, like half-drunk lovers on a fun leather sofa. Great old houses neighbored by garish modern a place that makes the head hurt. The czar's huge neon sign was visible for miles. Advertised tonight's main attraction, the amazing Natasha. Ah, cops were never welcomed in places like this. They hoped we were too late for the show. We had to be inconspicuous. But it was never easy with this bird mountain by my side. For those of you who haven't played the game yet, you can see what's going on. I'm just doing a recap. There's one thing I'd learned during years of detective work. It's that if someone wants to meet you at a road location at night, you should bring an army for backup. One time, me and Marty were stupid enough to underestimate a situation like that, and we never really recovered. And yet, here we were again, about to step alone into something hauntingly familiar. Only one tactic remained, as the old doctor say, balls to the wall. <laughs> but to 
continue the investigation where it started. In that shady little apartment I called home. The only lead was the list Fillmore gave us, with all those imposing names on it. But what could it mean? And why did Natasha keep it secret from us? But most importantly, what did all this have to do with Deborah's death? It started to get cold, and so did the air outside. There was something like clouds. I prayed that they didn't bring an early snowfall. The night was already painful enough. To Marty's delight, we were heading toward the most exclusive brothel in Clawville. The separatists and those opposing the monarchy hated the place, just like they hated everything that supported interracial relations and peaceful coexistence of all species. So the place wasn't just a brothel, it was a symbol. But just like a brothel is not a worthy symbol, Carville failed to turn out the way it was intended. That's messed up. I think I was dreaming. But it wasn't the kind of dream you'd want to remember. Dark and painful. <laughs> Woke me. It wasn't fried eggs, that's for sure. Where was I? What happened? treacherous crocodile then i saw marty who looked as horrible as i felt well i've always wanted a romantic sea voyage <laughs> all right everyone we're almost through this game but i will return and record some more of this game until we get to the end of it because I'm waiting to see the end of this game. So that was a recap. And every time I play this game and stream it, we could do a recap. So just in case people miss it, so they can know what's going on. Because right now, it seems like they're on the verge who's trying to find Molly's killer. And then they're trying to find Natasha's blackmail or who's blackmailing Natasha. So this thing has a good storyline. It really does have a good storyline. I ain't gonna cap. This game is pretty cool. And when I first got it, it was $19.99, but I got it on sale for $12.99 on Steam. So I got it for a good deal. The full game, pretty dope. Be catching deals on Steam, man. But yeah, um, this your boy HRV. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Hit me up. Watch my videos. Help me get monetized. So, you know, once I get monetized, then I will be giving out gift cards and everything else. So, I am out. Peace. Have a blessed night. And depends depends what time it is. I might stream. That new Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, Master Duel or Duel Masters or whatever the heck it's called. It looks pretty dope though. It's almost like Duel Links, but I think it's better though. I don't know. On Duel, on Duel Links, they talk. So, yeah. But anyway, that's a different story. But I'll talk to you guys later. I'll stream some more of this game. We'll do a continuation of it. Alright. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.
Share, share me out. So, HRV, I am out. You guys have a good one. Have a good night. Sleep good. Stay warm. Stay warm. Stay out the rain. Yeah, because in Texas, it's pretty much windy, rainy, and cold. <laughs> so, yeah. I am out.